guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog today i am introducing the month which can i say is september the best month of the year i think so i think for me personally it's my favorite anyway i've got barney in the back we have headed this morning to uh clitheroe lancashire people will know clitheroe has um a shop called the Emporium Interiors, which have invited me down, along with Barney. Barney's allowed. He is in tow. Um, they are dog friendly. They've got homeware, gifts, accessories, furniture. It's right next to Sainsbury's, if you do know Clitheroe. And Tom plays cricket for Clitheroe, so I figured I might as well pop in a day that he has cricket. So he starts in 10 minutes so i'm probably going to miss the start of his game but i figured i would start the vlog anyway pop into this homeware shop have a look around take you guys with me and then head over to watch a bit of cricket today it is sunny now but it's meant to get a little bit overcast as we go on throughout the day so um we'll see I, like, the only thing with going to cricket any cricket people will know trying to decide what to pack what to take is hard because it can get cold but then when the sun's out like this it actually can get scorching so i'm in t-shirt and jeans today i've got my little basket bag from chloe and i have got a blazer for i think i'll pop it on later because i really don't need it right now uh so shall we go shopping bud it's a bit dirty back car needs a bit of clean getting my new car very soon which i'm very excited about going oh god going fully electric it's a bit tight this car compared to the one that i was used to before which the lease ended on so that went back um i've just been doing like a short-term lease on this until my new one's ready but i'm picking it up this month in literally a few days a week just under a week I'm so excited anyway for now let's head on into the shop Let's see what they've got. show you the bits that i did pick up from the interiors shop which by the way is gorgeous i also wanted to mention as well about um the podcast that i've been listening to over here on the drive it's called it's a bbc sounds i think bbc yeah it's called unreal it's 10 parts and it's all about reality tv and i'm only listening to i'm only on the first one which is a bit about big brother the social experiment it's really interesting so i've only got five minutes left of that one then i'm going to pop on the next one um to listen to that on route home <coughs> excuse me but i thought i would just share with you the bits that i have got this first one was 25 pounds and it's this kind of like wooden rustic wooden peg hooks thing to go i'm thinking in our utility room because i've bought out all of my winter coats from storage i've realized there's nowhere really to store it i don't really have a, an area we did have an area on our ground floor where i was putting our coats but that's going to be completely in demolition very very soon so i need to find a new place and i thought if we just have these up in our utility i was thinking about putting some kind of like a boot uh what they call like a bench and hook system in our utility but i don't know if it's a bit too small the space for one of those we'll see but for now anyway i bought those sets of wooden hug hugs peg 
hooks. And then I did get these bunch of faux eucalyptus stems. I liked them because of the color. They're very creamy and kind of brown, which I'm thinking of putting in my urn in my filming room is switching out the kind of spring gypsophilia, gypsophila, fila. I would say gypsophilia, but I was corrected, it's gypsophila. These are only eight pound each. Then I've got this log basket, which if I show you like that, how? gorgeous is this log basket they actually had this styled up as a bit more of like it was in front of a fireplace but it was styled up with cushions and throws so i was thinking in the future when we have our log burner and we have our cozy snug room to be able to have um, a log basket like that i love the fact that it's open and it's like a trug style with the handle <laughs> excuse me but yeah, the fact that they had it styled up with um, pillows and throws, I thought it would be quite nice just temporarily down in our cinema room. Adds a nice kind of textured look and finish and obviously it can house all of the cosy throws because I have a throw over the beanbags which we sit on but then to be able to cuddle up with a throw as well and just have spare cushions and things. So yeah, that is what I've bought that for, um, but with the intention of eventually having it in front of the fire with a load of vlogs. And I can't wait for the day that we have a log burner because isn't that just the dream? Especially at Christmas. We won't have it this Christmas, but by next Christmas, putting it out there. I mean, I said by this Christmas we'd be done. We <laughs> definitely know when it's done. I had a load of hold-ups and delays and all sorts, which I'm sure I'll go into in a renovation vlog, but we're moving forward again now. Steels are due to go in this week. Things will start progressing. The doors that we've already ordered, windows are here. So it's gonna be kind of a watertight space within a month or two. Thank you so much to Emporium for having me today. I'm gonna head back now and I think I'm gonna go via the chip shop get into my comp phase have a nice shower makeup off i'm the sort of person that as soon as i get home to chill out i make up off hair up shower comfies on and i might get a fish and chip shop dinner tonight Too caught up to see it, baby. We can have it all yeah. if I just could get myself together. I'm not wasting another minute if it goes. 
goes up in flames, I'll take the pain. If I never try to get it, I can just forget it. I'm done playing the waiting game. Good morning. We, um, it's a brand new day. Brand new sunny day actually it was a little bit overcast it is a bit overcast in the distance i can't see but it was a bit overcast yesterday at the cricket kind of intermittent and um i kind of liked it i'm not gonna lie i kind of liked it now that the sun's back out i'm a bit like when's the rain coming i'm sure it's gonna be on its way very soon but yeah it's um a bit brighter today so i thought i would head out and about and I've come to a shopping complex whereby there's a food shop that I need to do but also a B&M and Air Matalan so I thought I would take you in I've seen some sneak peeks of Matalan autumn bits so I thought I would take you guys with me see what is new in in both of them let's just let these people get out in the car next to me I always feel so awkward when I'm vlogging in the car I don't know why it's almost like vlogging in public it's like people, it's the judgment of people thinking what the hell is she doing talking to a camera. But do, 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 do people know? I mean, in fact, they might not, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, they're gone. They're gone. Um, so yeah, let's head on into the shops. Let's see what is new in and take you guys shopping. And then I'll see you guys when I'm back at home. I do actually want to get through, um, go through my storage bits um, in the basement to get out all my autumn decor. For probably one of my next videos, I'm going to do a Home Sense autumn video next. And then after that, it's going to be the whole decorate from autumn with me. So yeah, I need to go through some storage bits this afternoon as well. I'll show you what our uh, basement's looking like actually any kind of updates and what the storage room's looking like as well later on today right let's head on in and see you guys when i'm in there so first stop for me was matalan i naively grabbed a basket i did check out some fashion finds first they had some really nice kind of jackets and coats i loved this one for 40 pounds i also really loved this striped jumper and they had some knitted vests some quilted jackets then I headed straight to the homeware section where I was keeping my eyes peeled for the autumn wreath that I've seen online which was beautiful by the way and also this pumpkin mug which I just think is so adorable I'm so glad I managed to find those I really love this throw as well and I thought for seven pounds that could be a nice kind of autumn touch to the house without being overboard um yeah I just really liked the pattern of that so after all of that, checked out the sales section quickly before heading over to B&M, whereby this time I did in fact grab a trolley, which I was so glad I did because I did pick up quite a bit. I always start in the kind of snack section. They always have the best selection of yummy treats and drinks. And then I took myself over to the homeware section. I was trying to see all of the kind of new in bits and just kind of an overview of some of the aisles. This vase was beautiful. I was really tempted for that. As well as this marble tray actually, because it had really nice kind of warm amber tones running through it. section I just think is so good nowadays in B&M I'm absolutely loving all of the different textures that they've got going on there really really impressed had a quick look at the candle section as well they always have Yankee candles even these little votives they had some Christmas scents in already and some of the summery scents in this sale Lots of coziness in the throw department, throws and cushions, including some, again, burnt oranges and kind of like forest green colors. And then, of course, I had to have a look down the Halloween aisles. They had this gorgeous trick-or-treat white pumpkin and also a light-up one. They also had this Harvest Collection garland at £15, which I loved the pumpkins on. And again, just the tones of it were far more neutral, far more my aesthetic. This is kind of leading into the Christmas section, actually. Lots of 
dog related things were also stocking filler things little jewelry sets and hot water bottles all the kind of things that they bring out as stocking filler ideas throughout the christmas aisles they are definitely stocking the shelves but yeah i was really impressed with the amount of selection they had for um pet owners for dog lovers but yeah lots of christmas things and i'm sure lots more to come over the next coming months it's gone that dark outside there's me saying it's all sunny it's gone that dark outside i'm half tempted to put on the ring light it's that dark um i feel like we're okay there aren't we so yeah get yourselves a nice drink because this is going to be a bit of a haul um i ended up getting quite a bit from b &M. only one thing from Matalan. they did have a lovely range but i have quite a lot of wreaths and there was a wreath that i was tempted for but i thought well, i don't need it what else did they have that i liked um a little pumpkin dish they had a pumpkin mug and i did decide to pick up the mug because i did think it would make a nice addition to my autumn mug collection it reminds me of the anthropology one in fact i don't know how much the anthropology one is but this one was only four pound fifty and it's kind of the same in that it's an irregular shaped um, pumpkin. Just white, plain and simple. A bit speckled as well, if you can see. Cannot wait to have a nice PSL in that one. And then also, how nice is these, um, these reusable bags? They are lovely. They've got like a load of their um, home decor like styling photos on. Okay, next up I got this absolutely stunner. This is a stunning piece. I'm obsessed with it. It's mango wood cake stand, 30 centimeters diameter. I'm tempted to get, or see if I can find a 30 centimeter diameter cloche, because I think it would be quite nice to have that with this. Um, it was only 14 pounds. I say only for B&M, that's like steep, isn't it? Let's be honest. However, it is stunning. The fact that it's, can I say stunning one more time to describe this piece? It's stunning. There we go, I just did it. Um, yeah, it's just like, kind of like a this mango wood it's quite a light finish for a mango wood but i just love the rustic kind of textured finish to it i'm just obsessed with that so to go with my matthew allen mug i got some starbucks signature chocolate salted caramel hot chocolate amazing to go with it some pop tarts b &M have the best treats that's, I can't go to B&M without getting some treats because they just have like all the Australian chocolates, the American things. Pop that in the toaster before our next movie night down in our cinema room. I'm loving all the snacks that can be anything cinema related. Cinema related snacks. I also got the most random purchase, a pack of three toothbrushes. These I've found cleaning our shower trays because of the shape of the waste, it's quite good to use a toothbrush. So I thought I would stock up on some toothbrush toothbrushes to be able to clean our shower trays with oh i got this for barney i thought that might be worth trying it's a pet vacuum hair remover so as like as well as brushing the dog it kind of like sucks in the hair now he isn't a fan of the hair dryer noise and he's okay with the hoover but hopefully he'll be okay with that speaking of barney actually there's quite a lot of pet items they've got a load of new toys and new homeware things there was a really nice bone shaped pet mat in there which was a bargain but i've already got one so i didn't get that um but yeah loads of nice cream and beige toys so i thought i would just show you them all three pound fifty um two pound fifty that one and then also these two that's like another one similar to the others at three pound fifty it's got a little crinkle in there as well and then this one was three pound fifty as well so yeah i don't know why this one was cheaper but it was oh and then also this one they've got some cute initial ones which are in the christmas aisles can you believe it or not it's b m doing christmas i mean it is september so what three more paydays september october november yeah three more paydays and it's christmas <laughs> just saying so anyway yeah christmas aisle they had a load of these like bone toys with initials on i guess for like pet gift ideas three pound fifty and i obviously got b for mr barney boo i just got him another cheese chew this isn't for barney this is for me but it's a key 
ring again this is in the christmas aisle so like a bit of a stocking filler idea two pound fifty they had all the different birthstones and to be honest with you my birthstone january I, it's like a garnet it's not actually i don't actually like it it's like a dark red november is my favorite birthstone looks wise and that's the month that barney was born so i thought i'd just get that you know any excuse to go for the neutral one. I did also pick him up a Halloween toy, three pounds. And then last but not least for the pet items, they've got these um, like linen treat bags and poop dispenser things with the little gold hardware that you can clip on. So you can clip that onto your walking gear and just have it as a specific dedicated treat pouch. It's got a little woof written on it. And then this one says mucky pup and again it's just got the gold hardware and then i've got some more tea lights these are just in the pomegranate scent i like the fact that they are clear um i did open this on route home so i have had a row and let me tell you delicious if you like caramel if you like white chocolate you like milky bar oh i want another piece now let me just have another look at them it does actually look like caramel so again where's this from delish yeah it's from australia of course it's all about balance i saw these and i was intrigued six calories for the skinny brand spaghetti noodles so i guess on a night where maybe tom's not home because he would never eat anything like this or like a lunch or something where i just want something for myself then i thought this with a little bit of cheese for protein some butter salt and pepper nice and simple and then i've got these <laughs> i'm such a hypocrite toffee crumble it's called so it's toffee it's chocolate and caramel flavored confectionery dusted with cocoa powder it's like little pieces has anyone tried this should we just try it on camera so i can tell you guys what it's like do the taste testing for you mm. oh what does that remind me of mm. I know what it reminds me of. It's like a Twix, all melted and mushed in together with the biscuit, the caramel, the chocolate, and made into bite-sized pieces. That's what it tastes like. So if you like Twix, they are yum. Oh, also from the Skinny brand, they now do cereals. They've got, I think they had two different granolas. I went for the chocolate one because we quite often get the um, crunchy nut one. And yeah, 117 calories per serving. I also got a little Halloween scrub daddy. I remember getting one of these last year and I just think, well, you know, it's seasonal, it's fun, it's autumn. And then I also got a Provoke Touch of Silver. This is my go-to purple shampoo. I use purple shampoo on my hair. I do have a full video dedicated to my hair care, my everyday makeup, how I do my DIY at home gel nails, which I've gone for a more kind of autumn color this time around in fact i did order some new colors let me go get them just before i do the last thing that i got a chalky barbecue fondant set we still quite often fire up the barbecue if it's dry outside then um yeah tom's a big barbecue lover and it's easy for me because it means less washing up let me go get those amazon bits i had no intention of turning this into a bit of an amazon haul as well but as soon as they were talking at nails, I did order some bits from Amazon that include a nail top up. So this one that I'm wearing is from Blue Sky and it's called Light Tan. But I did also get one from them in this kind of like dark brown colour. You can see on the tip what colour it is there. It's like a real deep chocolate brown. And then I did get a couple more um, CND shellac polishes. This one I used to wear all the time. It's called Field Fox. They do look quite purpley there, but that one actually looks quite similar to the one that I'm wearing. But yeah, I used to wear Field Fox all the time. This one is in, it's a Miley one, in Cozy Nights. That's the kind of color of it. It's like a light gray nude. And I saw this set, Beatles Gel Polish. I don't know how good this brand is gonna be. I'm not gonna lie, obviously I'm not trying it or anything, but I'll just show you there the colors that I went for. Well, this set that includes all the neutrals for autumn. So there's a 
cream, which I thought would be quite a nice addition, um, a white, which I don't have, kind of orangey pumpkin color, a couple of beiges, and again, another chocolate brown. So I got them. I also got these. Have you ever seen anything so perfect when you're washing your face to stop the water dripping down your arms? Oh, I hate that feeling, especially if you've just put on some like fresh PJs or something. Wash your face and all that water that you're splashing everywhere, it doesn't drip all the way down your arms. Genius. So yeah, I've got these that you can obviously just use sweatbands, but these are specific beauty ones. Um, I'll leave these bits linked actually if anyone's interested in trying anything. I do earn a little bit of commission, just a couple of pennies here and there if you do put in an Amazon order via my link. And I have a storefront as well. So again, anything that you've seen in my home or seen me haul, if you head to that storefront, you'll be able to shop my Amazon faves basically, including this, which I am so excited to try. It's from Neom, it's their bath foam. I've heard so many people talk about this. I've heard so many people talk about this and I love the Neom scents. This one is the scent to distress, de-stress. I feel like that's quite a good one for a bath. Lavender, jasmine and Brazilian rosewood. You just drizzle a bit in your bath. Honestly, Neom products, Neom and Espa for me in terms of go-to products that are gonna smell like a spa. Neom and Espa. Okay, this is a fun little purchase for our cinema room downstairs. I thought I would, at some point, I'm thinking of doing like a little snack station somewhere, and I thought I could pop these two acrylic uh, popcorn boxes on. I did see some white ones that I was tempted for, but they seemed really like mini ones, like party ones, and we like a bit more than just a little party size popcorn. So yeah, these are really good size. One for each of us. I've seen on Etsy and things you can get them personalized, which I think that might be quite fun if you've got like a cricket or something that you could um, DIY with your names on. And then what's this? Oh, this is a bit more of a boring purchase, but it's a box full of Viner's cutlery. So I decided to take the plunge. Oh, I need to sneeze. I decided to take the plunge and get a full, decent, cutlery set it wasn't even that expensive though to be fair i was expecting to pay more um but i thought this was and i say i said viners didn't i it's not viners actually this um but actually that reminds me have i got a set of viners cutlery ready for the new kitchen that rings a bell because i remember them sending me something recently or recently it was quite a while ago and it was like chopping board, which I got out, knives, which I got out. But did I order a cutlery set from them as well and put it away? Anyway, my point being, I'm done with the buying of the B&M cutlery. That is like gold, black, wooden handled, whatever, because they don't last. And especially if you're a dishwasher user, they, they say dishwasher safe, but they end up tarnishing or like losing their color. So I decided to just go for chrome, 60 piece one as well. So it literally has um, enough for, hang on, one, two, three, four, five times, what's 60 divided by five, 12. Right, so this is a set big enough for 12 people. And you've got your small spoon, your big spoon, big fork, no, it sounds like I'm talking to a child. I am just gonna double check. I've not already got a set that I've kept on the side. Like I was saying to you before about going through our storage room and everything, I'll take you down there now and show you what it's looking like. But it's all a bit manic because they're literally, oh, did I get anything else? Yeah, I did get something else from Amazon. Before I take you to the storeroom down in the basement, let me just show you these other bits that I got. Um, some fashion finds. I got this little cap. This is literally like a fiver. I thought for like dog walks and stuff. I really liked how the color of it is like a distressed kind of sage green. I love that. And um, oh, I got some more bits from Crazy Yoga, my Lululemon dupes. I'm wearing them today actually. I will say they definitely don't, that's the logo. They definitely don't stay up as well as Lululemons do, but they definitely do feel just as comfy. As for the bralettes and sports tops though, can't fault them. So I do get a large in the little sports tops because I find that they do come up quite small. I've got this in black already or one very similar in black. And then I did get some new trainers. In fact, well, that's the last thing I was going to share with you, but they're already downstairs. So I'll go take you downstairs and show you these new trainers that I've got. They are 
actually really good. The ones that I had before were very similar. They might have been the same, maybe slightly different because they do feel a bit different, but the waterproofing on them went. I mean, these aren't stylish trainers by any means. It's a literally a practical walking the dog shoe. And they are a bit mucky as well because I've already been on a couple of dog walks with them, but they're really comfy, really durable. You need waterproof if you own a dog because like I said the ones that previously that I had that were also adidas just here started to rip and I noticed morning dew on the fields I was coming back and my feet were wet through so I couldn't be having that so I decided to invest in a new pair and yeah I've really enjoyed using those right let's go to the dark space okay so what I was saying is that in no time this is all going to be removed and exposed and the extension outside is almost ready to have the steel put in to be able to not have any of this wall anymore basically so this was kind of being used as a storage room which we obviously need to clear out and go through stuff move stuff downstairs it doesn't look like it I've already moved a lot downstairs and I'm kind of going through things as as I'm putting them downstairs having said that because we don't have electricity in here no lights hence why it's dark and all boarded up because that used to be the bay window if you remember but that doesn't exist anymore so that's all boarded up yeah it's quite hard to go through stuff in here with it being quite dark so what i might end up doing is cleaning off these bits of dust taking them downstairs that's why that tub is there ready to go downstairs and then going through the stuff down there because obviously all the stuff within the boxes are all sealed and fine it's just dusty on top of them got like christmas bits over there in fact most of it i'm not gonna lie it's christmas decorations <laughs> and autumn bits i was going through these bits actually so i've found this section is my autumn decor so i need to go through that and then the other autumn bits i've already taken down into the basement so i'll head down here and show you what it's looking like a bit chaotic making me realize that actually we have a lot of stuff to store <laughs> not gonna lie right so this is the storage room as you come in through here just in this section we're just keeping things like hoover ironing board fan chest freezer with barney's food and then in this room we've obviously got our boiler and everything and a like main switchboard uh all the fuse box and everything is in there this is still pretty much empty i've just got a load of spare containers ready to use and store within these um shelves and also the other ones we just need to make that a little bit neater and tidier so then as you come through here i ordered these from amazon i've got these two bigger ones here which we put up loved them they're the perfect size for these um boxes and then some smaller ones on top so I ordered what I thought was another one of those shelves. However, this arrived and it's far um, less deep. It's a lot shallower, but it actually sits quite nicely here. So it's kind of like a bit of an L shape as you walk in, you come into the storage room. And I might buy another one of these to sit against this wall because it perfectly fits in between this cupboard that you're currently sat in and the boiler and everything. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put another set of shelves there because like I said, we've still got a lot to move down here. And then buy some more of these tubs. These are 7 99 from Home Bargains, these ones. And then we've got the Christmas tree on top. We've got all of these two tubs, our autumn decorations. And then I've got um, a stationary tub, spare like baskets and boxes and things, which yes, I've got a whole tub for that. Um, and then like these two, or these three really, are like home decor things. So spare plant pots, vases, um, trays, wooden bowls, like nice stuff that maybe I'm gonna keep for the future kitchen, the future ground floor, because obviously we don't use any nice stuff on our ground floor at the minute because it's pre-renovation. I'll show you the rest. I, th I think you've seen the rest of the basement. This is just a utility room. I have added this um, b and mat, although I do think it's quite small for the space. That's the only thing. It was an absolute bargain. I couldn't say no to it. So I said yes to it. <laughs> I do think it's a bit small. Whoa. I've just spotted something that I wish I hadn't. So then we've got our bathroom in here, which I've just popped a couple of bits in here for um, like this shelf that I want to put up from next within this room at some point. And this as well to put that on the back of the door. Um, I've got one in my bathroom. I can hear a little pooch. Hi! 
Hello, puppy. Will you snooze in? Um, yeah, I've got oh, through the legs, through the legs. I've got these bits from Next as well, like toothbrush holder, soap dish. Um, that's gonna go on the back of the door just for like spare dressing gown towels. And then we've got our little toilet brush and toilet roll holder there. And then in here, we have the favorite room, don't we Barney? We love it in here now. Come down here in an evening and it is just the best. Oh, big yawn. So yeah, here is how it's looking in here. It is just so cozy. I'm loving this whole setup. I'm so glad we switched out the sofa for bean bags. It's honestly just the best. So obviously we still need to put up the curtain pole. I've got the curtains upstairs as well just to kind of block out the builder's mess temporarily. And then um, I've got this little butler's tray side table. The olive tree has gone here. I'm thinking of getting rid of this bed because he doesn't really go in it. I don't know if it's a bit small for him. He likes to lay out flat, so he tends to just lie like on the floor when we're in here. So if I don't end up keeping that bed, what I might do is some kind of snack station that I was talking about set up over here. See, is it a bit small? No, he looks like he fits there. Oh, maybe I will keep it. <laughs> you coming back upstairs? Good boy. Oh, the spider's moved. <laughs> I forgot it was there for a second. Barney, there's a big spider. Let's get upstairs. Let's get away from it. Come on. Come on. Quick, get away from it. I think what I'm going to do is throw my hair up, get into some PJs, take my makeup off, have a nice shower, and then share with you some monthly favourites before we close off today's video. Because I really love doing this, and September is my favourite month of the year. There is no hiding that. I keep talking about it. So yeah, I have some fun kind of end of summer transitional favorites that I thought I would mention within this video. But for now, I think let's get rid of all this and get a bit more cozy. down my bag of goodies to share with you. Hey Barney. Oh that's so nice. Thank you for your thought. So we're all cozy, we're freshly showered and washed. And uh, yeah I thought I would end out this vlog with some monthly favourites. So this is definitely a transitional accumulation of a couple of bits and you'll see within the this like little selection why. realizing that a beanbag is actually quite <laughs> quite hard to get onto. Hey comfy there sir. Anyway in fact speaking of Barney I did want to mention this rough and tumble towel. We've been using this so much now that we've got his dog wash station which has been amazing honestly such a luxury it will be especially in winter because right now you can just hose him down when it's still quite warm but as it gets colder and colder to be able to have nice warm water inside to wash him off is amazing so yeah we use this rough and tumble towel to put on him whilst he's like drying around the house and i've also been using these on this on dog walks um my new bum bag and now i did have one from Captain and Sun, which I did like, but it was like a beige colour, so it did get quite mucky. And uh, you know, I wear the, I wear a bum bag every single day on a dog walk, at least twice a day. So yeah, I ended up switching out and getting a new one. This is again, it's Levi's, but I got it on Amazon, so it's got the Levi's branding and a little bit of branding there at the bottom. But this is just, it's a bit more understated black. I feel like it's a better colour for 
a bum bag for dog walks. This is what I mean by transitional. Something that I've been loving this month is the Lululemon um, cycle shorts. Definitely start wearing leggings from now onwards, but over the heat wave, I was doing all my dog walks in the Lululemon shorts. So I definitely think I might purchase another pair maybe next summer. But I got these ones from Cheshire Oaks, so they were in the sale. I'll leave those linked below though if you were interested. But the leggings that I'm obsessed with and wear all the time basically. They've got several varieties, so I'll leave the exact pair of leggings that I wear linked in the description box. I don't know if my discount code with Farfetch is still valid. If it is, it's FF off. It is only first uh, time purchases only. But this Chloe bag, I've got so much wear out of, and I do just use a, a little drawstring canvas bag on the inside. This one is just like from Zara Home. I think I got it free with a pair of slippers or something I bought once, because otherwise, it is quite open, but apart from that, I've loved wearing that bag. Again, a summery drink that I've been loving. This is actually my second bottle now. It's the Crushed Lime and Mint, and I believe they do an elderflower and pear cordial as well from Robinsons. This is very much a Starbucks lime refresher drink. And also another thing that I've been loving drinks-wise, um, oat milk. My friend Lydia has converted me onto oat milk. She was like, just try it. Like, we always have oat milk now, and I thought, I'll try it. And it's just so much creamier and yeah so i tend to have like black coffees most of the time but if i'm having a little treat a pumpkin spice latte cappuccino or something which involves milk i'm usually nine times out of ten opting for oat milk now if they have it and then a couple of beauty items the first one is this now talcum powder yet again in this heat that we've had over the summer months it's talcum powder i'm a complete convert i sometimes prefer using talcum powder to, in fact most of the time i prefer using talcum powder to body moisturizer if it's a little bit chilly which has not been that hot at the minute so i'll use moisturizer but when it has been when it was like so hot talcum powder moisturizes and feels lovely but it also keeps you dry and honestly Love this. I literally put it all over my body when I get out of the shower. And then speaking of shower, I wanted to mention these Espar oils. Now I just keep them in this Espar box. I do have the full collection of minis anyway. They do um they do, do bigger sizes of these Espar oils. But I just have all of mine stored in here. And I also have a couple in the shower. I've got at the minute in the shower, I've got the restful one, which I use this evening. And I just pop a couple of drops on the floor, run the shower hot so that it steams the room with the essential oils. It makes it smell absolutely insane. But it also, the essential oils, I didn't realize this, but especially when you put it on your body, they get into your bloodstream. So they really do work. Restful is great for like an evening shower. And I've also got Energize in there for like if I'm having a morning shower and wanted to use a bit of oil. So yeah, I've been loving using that. You can obviously use them on your body and everything as well, but just to pop a couple of drops in the shower and steam it, amazing. So that's everything that I brought down in my little Neptune bag that I wanted to share with you, but I did have a couple of TV mentions that I wanted to talk about. First thing in our cinema room, we now have Disney Plus, so we've been watching all the Toy Story movies. I want to watch The Lion King. I feel like this one might like it. Um, you know, the new one with Beyonce, that song that she sings was it spirit oh. lion king just has a place in my heart it's my all-time favorite disney movie and um, so yeah we've got disney plus i didn't realize how much was on there so the fact that i was like mm, let me just try it i'll tell you why i originally downloaded it was for the kardashians which i watched and then there's just i was planning on cancelling it if i'm being completely honest but then there's just so much stuff on there like um Desperate Housewives we've been watching, like a couple of episodes every night. Um, like I said, the Toy Story movies we've watched. So yeah, any Disney Plus recommendations? We're new to it, so let me know of any good programs, series, films that are on Disney Plus that you think I should watch. I want to watch the new Toy Story, actually. Is it called Lightyear? The Buzz Lightyear film? Oh, really randomly as well. Another TV series that I watched. Well, it's not really a TV series. It was a document type thing on ITV with Olivia Ratwood. It was called Filthy Rich. It's actually quite interesting. It's a bit about like 
the porn industry, OnlyFans, cam girls, that kind of thing. But she kind of delves straight into it. And it's honestly, I think there's about three episodes, but it's well worth watching. And then also a couple of Instagram accounts that I wanted to mention. Specifically home related. If you don't follow me on Instagram for my homeware account, which is Freya Farrington Home, I do a lot more um well obviously home related stuff a lot more reels like shopping reels out and about home styling like my new olive tree a cinema room that kind of thing and so there's a couple of accounts i'm actually more present on my homeware than i am my other one because i enjoy scrolling more on the homeware than i do fashion Maybe that will change as we get into autumn because I do love autumn for fashion. For now, I'm loving homeware accounts and there's two that I've recently found and followed. At Home with M, gorgeous home. She's got a lot of like dark greens as well, which I love, very country feel. And she's got the cutest little puppy. And she's got, um, well, she's got two dogs actually. Uh, so I've recently discovered her and then These Country Roads is another Instagram account that I've recently discovered it's very moody she's called jasmine and she's actually a photographer and videographer so her images are very like moody dark perfect for autumn if you want to get a bit of inspiration and that autumn feeling and then who else jenna at the cosford edit i've recently discovered her as well she's got some amazing home decor pieces and she's done that lime wash paint recently that looks fantastic and I'm definitely considering it for it either in here or maybe upstairs when we do the ground floor, maybe in like the dining living section we were. Well, I still think I'm going to do it black, bold, I know, but we really want it cosy, log fire, that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I'm, I might be converted to maybe the lime wash paint, we'll see. I do quite like the idea of black there, so maybe we'll do lime wash in here. Another account, kate.quincy.home. She's got the most gorgeous golden boy called Blue. He is adorable. And she's got a very similar, like, Victorian-style property that they've renovated. I'm loving, I'm very white and bright and neutrals, just like you guys know I love. And then if you like that kind of country farmhouse style, Neptune home kind of style, then Florally Home is yet another Instagram account that I really get inspiration from, from like my utility room, um, decorating with like Neptune products. So yeah, she is a Neptune queen. That is all that I wanted to mention for my favourites this month. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and spending the last couple of days with me and yeah i hope you are excited for more autumn content to come and um, any other suggestions or videos that you want to see do let me know otherwise i will see you next week for an autumn home sense haul and shop and also to decorate for autumn with me so yeah i hope you're excited for that content to come make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out have a lovely rest of your day and i will hope to see you all in my next video bye guys